Screenforce Days 2019. We have with us at V&V Karen Nelson Field, Professor Karen Nelson Field from the University of Adelaide in Australia. So you have a long trip, <laughs> and um, welcome here. We're not, we're glad to have you. And you did a very impressive presentation on stage uh, before. And um, now I just want to ask you, you have investigated the correlation um, between the size of the screen and the impact of commercials. Um, the difference between TV advertising on one hand side and yeah. Facebook advertising or Facebook and YouTube spots yeah. on the other hand side, yeah. so to speak. Um, what are the key results of your study? Yeah, I mean, what's interesting there is it's it's less about the size of the screen, it's more about the size of the ad. So that's really important. So that's a key finding that um, visibility does matter and it makes complete 100% sense. So if you can't see an ad or it's much smaller than the rest of the screen, that it's going to have an impact on your ability to notice it, right? So we see that that has definitely a relationship between attention and sales. What really amazes me is you found out that um, on the mobile screen, even TV content is working very well. And this is really amazing because usually we say, okay, on mobile, everything has to be snackable and short and TV, we long, legacy TV is very long form. Yeah, look, I think that was probably a shock for a few people. Um, so what's interesting about that is that the feedback that we got from the online competitors was that, you know, they optimize for mobile. So clearly that's going to be, they're going to own that device. Um, so we felt that we were needed to be fair and, and look at TV on mobile as well. So that was a bit of a surprise, but I'm excited for that. So that means that, um, you know, this concept of dual screening between the big screen and the small screen, or, you know, when you're on the bus and you're watching catch up or, you know, it's, it's a fantastic finding for the future of television. And the, another interesting thing is the screen that works, uh, uh, worked worse, worst was the um, computer screen, the laptop screen, or however we call it. Um, does it mean that on the long term, um, the screens of the future are the big TV screen and the small mobile screen? So you need to ask uh, the futurist that's talking at Wolfgang that one. Um, but I feel like, um, I, yeah, to be honest, that's not really my area of expertise, but I feel like we can see that in the results, that people are less engaged in the PC. But I think that's because it's a work kind of station and, and perhaps there's something about the environment that makes people less conducive to enjoyment. You know, you're typically sitting at a desk, that's not fun. Um, but again, you should ask Wolfgang that one. Do you see a better chance for online video advertising if people are using Facebook and YouTube on the big screen? So that's an interesting one. Um, so I feel like that's one of the next things we should consider to be fair to them, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm platform agnostic and we need to be fair to them. So I would expect that um, their stats and attention actually does go up a little bit. Um, but what's interesting about it is I don't know that that's a typical user um, experience. So people might move towards those platforms on TV, but at the moment, not many people do it. So it would be, I think it's a little bit too early to test that. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's the conclusion on the long term for the advertisers? Uh, how shall they prepare on the future? That's a great question. Um, so the simple thing is that attention is precious, right? And that we, even on television, we can see that people dip in and out of attention across the ads. So, you know, the days of sitting there attentively watching the ad for the entire time, going for the journey with the brand is over. Um, so I feel like advertisers need to understand that most people don't love their ads. So you have to optimize every attention point. And some of that is with emotion, um, but certainly make sure that you brand your advertising well so that when someone is paying attention, they understand who it's for. Very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your results. And um, yeah, have a good trip back to Australia. <laughs> Take care.